Best export settings for YouTube in Resolve. First, you're going to make sure you have the correct timeline selected by clicking here, selecting the right timeline, making sure it's what you want. Then you're gonna come over to the deliver page, click here, and you have a whole allotment of settings over here on the side, including title name and location, but there's a bunch of presets up here up top that you can scroll through to find the destination you want. There's also the YouTube preset, and next to the toggle, you can click this arrow and select what resolution. I'm gonna do UHD. And then there's another uh, little bit of settings that you can select down here on the left, you can browse and select the folder you want to export to as well as some other default settings like the resolution that your timeline is in as well as frame rate, video codec, all kinds of stuff like that and the audio codec as well. Using this YouTube preset, there are only a few controls that you can select. So I typically go up and use one of the custom presets and that is the master h.264 so if you click here you'll get some different settings that allow you to do stuff both through video audio and the file itself starting with the format you can select what type of format whether that's quicktime or mp4 or you know whatever you want there also the video codec you can also change the frame rate as well as the quality of the KBS compression. So for UHD, I like to select between 60,000 and 80,000 KBS, and that will give you a really nice compression on your video. For HD, you'll want to use between 30,000 and 50,000. Then under advanced settings, you can go down, you can select the color space and the gamma tags and so if you've ever had a video export and not have the exact color that it had when you're editing this is why so i'm going to select the color space and go down to rec 709 which is uh, standard for displays and then for the gamma tag i'm going to actually select rec 709 a which is for apple computers and this will allow you to have the exact same output over here in the project settings window you can also set up your timeline to have that rec 709-a as well so one other thing that you might want to do when rendering youtube is add subtitles to your video and put them in there so down on the bottom there's a subtitle settings you'll click export subtitle and then for the format, you wanna select the burn into video. This will just put it right over the video. It'll be a part of the video uh, as it's finally exported and you won't have to worry about it.